We've had a 3.9 magnitude earthquake, very close to the surface, 0.8 miles, in the area of uh, between Atlanta and Savannah, Georgia. And uh, the USGS unfortunately stops the frequency square here, but we can see that Northern Florida has been shaken in South Carolina as well. And um, from what, we, what I see today, well, just now, about uh, less than 3,000, uh, less than um, uh, 1,300 people have reported it. Um, 1,294 people reported it. And uh, 3.9. As we know, they don't have shake, shake alert there, but that's pretty strong for the East Coast. Remember that on the East Coast, we feel earthquakes 10 times more than we do on the West Coast because everything here is so soft. And um, we'll go back and see, it's basically from what I remember, it's right on a river. We know that all rivers are fault lines. Where are they? Okay. It's a mess here with all these lines I have. But this is a river here, right here. There's another river right here, as you can see right there, okay? Let's go in closer. All rivers are fault lines right there. It's a lake. And um, go to the aerial. That's a lake there. Okay. Um, there's a lot of farmland right here, as we can see. There's also a fort there. But anyway, okay. Um, I don't know if there's any fracking there. I mean, that to me, it looks like residential area and farming uh, because it's very close to Atlanta, between Atlanta and Savannah. And um, this was uh, not small for the area. Okay. Um, let's go back to our map here we are 1294 reported it to usgs thousands must have felt it this is it right here our location right here florida alabama georgia south carolina uh, let me see it. what about the little ones let's load all of them i don't know if we had these are only the this is okay we had another one here 2.2 yesterday and uh, one magnitude uh, as well a few days ago. Okay, so now we know that this is this is an area of um, you can see the creases here very nicely. This is an area of the New Madrid seismic zone, right here, and we saw all rivers are fault lines. St. Lawrence up here, right here we have the little Great Lakes. Ontario and Erie, Mississippi right here. And remember we talked about this thing here. That, that is a mantle plume up there. That's a horse-shaped mantle plume. And the east part goes like this. And the west part goes like this. Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and then goes west. And we did say that uh, Kansas has a lot of diamond spewing kimberlite volcanoes. Okay, this is a 2.5 that we had today here. Okay. Um, oh, look at this. We had a couple of days ago, 1.6 in Rhode Island. And this is Canada, 2.1. Okay, so uh, going to the particulars, uh, we, we know that we don't have most earthquakes in North America east of the Rockies. Few earthquakes east of the Rockies have been identified, uh, definitely linked to mapping geological faults. Uh, we don't know where they are most of the time. Scientists who study eastern and central North America quakes often work from hypothesis that modern earthquakes occur as a result of slip on pre-existing faults. Induced seismicity talks about fracking and things like that, you know, quarries and things like that. But um, we don't know if that's induced seismicity. But um, going back to this, let's remember that we have a seamount here. All, all these islands here are volcanic. 
All the Caribbean islands are volcanic, and we do have a lot of earthquakes there. Uh, let's see what's happening there. Look at these earthquakes, all of these here. They're volcanic earthquakes, islands. Um, and these, this, is, this is the seamount of about 30 um, underwater volcanoes here pointing towards Maine. Maine has five volcanoes, ancient volcanoes. Four of them are in a 100-mile radius. Okay, and this is the mantle plume that we said was from about a billion years ago, and nobody knows where it's, uh, maybe it's, maybe it's a hotspot, I don't know, but the geologists don't know where that mantle uh, plume is originating, but it's been there for 990 million years, almost a billion years, one of the oldest mantle plumes known, okay, so all of you there, please be very careful, 3.9. Uh, yes, the East Coast does get earthquakes, and they're felt much more than on the west because it's softer here. Okay. Uh, thank you for your comments. Please um, uh, like and subscribe and share. Thank you so much. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.